What's so up YouTube? I'm Kerkat and today uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace uh, collision files in um, 12 Princess and uh, Dying Build 12 Princess. Now, the Dying Build 12 Princess, uh, I'm not going to be showing you how to replace all the collision files. Um, as far as I'm aware, the Dying Build 12 Princess uses at least two um, types of collision files DZB uh, collision, like uh, file format and um, KCL. KCL is what uh, the stages use, um, was what most, if not all, stages use in uh, 12 Princess. Uh, DZB is used for like objects, like that. I'm not sure if all objects use DZB or not, though. But yeah, so I'm going to focus on KCL in this video for the stages. Um, so here there's a room for stage here that I'm going to be putting into the toolbox. And Modified KCL file, it's called r01 underscore 00.arc. So, here when I open it, um, there's a uh, you guys can see there's this is the main like model of it. If I uh, open this, you guys can see this is the uh, Ordon Spring area 12 pulses. Um, but yeah, um, I'm going to be modifying the collision, not the actual model right, right now. So the collision is in the KCL file, room.kcl. So in order to <coughs> export the KCL file, I actually need to double click on and need this plus icon to appear. Then when you right click on it, you'll be able to see an export and replace option. If you don't see this plus icon appear next to the KCL file, um, like if you don't double click on it, then when you right click on it, you want to see the exports option. So, anyways, um, once you see that the plus thing, then when you right click, you'll see export. This will allow you to export an object file. Object file. So, I'm going to export it right now. Then, um, oh yeah, and this you can see here's the here's how the collision looks like at the moment. Maybe so exports an opt file, so I'm going to open it in Blender now. I mean, let me fix the view here so you can you guys can see Blender better. Alright. I'm going to delete these like default things that are already in Blender. Import uh, option files. I'm importing them. I don't think you guys can see it, but I'm going to import now. So, uh, what you want to do in Blender, um, since this is stage file, is going to be like really, really big. Um, so, when you zoom out in Blender to look at, you uh, you might not be able to see it. So, what you do to fix that is you go, you wait. So, I'm sure you guys, there's like this arrow thing that appears here. You basically like you move that away, and then you click on view over here. You click on this, and then you look at this here. And you increase this. Like when you zoom out, you can still see what's going on. So when I increase this, then now when you zoom out, I'll be able to see the stage model. If let's say I decrease the number to like the default value or less, see it disappears. Um, so this term is like the range of how, like how much you can see when you zoom out, I guess. So anyway, so or something like that. So anyway, so I increased it. So now we can see the model, the collision file. So now uh, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you guys how to make it so then Link can like swim in the places in this in the Orton Spring where he's not even meant to be able to swim or. Yeah, so I'm going to add some like water collision into it. So the water collision is actually call two in here. Um, it's a mesh that's called call two, and um, so I'm going to like combine some other meshes uh, with it, kind of, to increase the uh, call two like collision basically. So here I'm going to go to collision fourteen. I'm going to go to edit. And then I'm going to duplicate it. And then uh, I'm going to raise it up a bit higher because if I don't raise it up, uh, 
when Link walks on it, he he will still feel the ground, he won't feel any water because they'll both be like touching each other, like the normal collision of the ground and the water. So to feel it in game, uh, I'm going to move it up higher. So I moved up like kind of slightly um, compared to how the other one is. Um, and that should be enough for that effect to work in game. So then I'm going to this the part that I duplicated. I'm going to separate it uh, into its own like uh, mesh. Then I'm going to take the I'm going to take collision two and I'm going to take the new collision that I basically did, like duplicated the mesh you can see here it's uh, duplicated because it says 0 0.001 so it's like a new mesh um, so I'm going to join them together and I'm going to rename this to call 2 because I don't want it to um, wait actually before I do that let me undo that um, I made a mistake kind of so I'm going to go to call 14 I'm going to make some material um, into a uh, call to first, yeah, um, and then now I'm going to join them. So let me just go choose call collision two, then collision fourteen point zero zero one, not the regular collision fourteen. Oh. Oh, man. All right, hold up. They two, yeah, okay, I showed it. So now I'm going to join them. I'm going to rename this to call 2 because that's what uh, is, it was originally. That's what's meant to be if we want the watch collision. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to export this as an object uh, file again. Um, and we're going to test in game. To, I'm going to show you how guys uh, water effect working and then I think I'll return back and I'll raise the uh, water hearts and Link swims down immediately I'm not sure if it's already high enough that Link would already swim I think it might be but yeah actually I think it might already be high enough um, I think for now uh, to just show you guys the water effect first before I actually show you Link swimming uh, I'll lower it down for now um, and then uh, after we see it how is in game going to oh lord down way too much um after we see how it is in game uh, i'm going to raise it higher and you guys will be able to see link actually swimming on it uh and hopefully this stuff we don't want to <laughs> go back to blender after this uh, let's try again but yeah so for, i'm going to export hopefully i didn't go below the thing i guess I can yeah, I think it is above it, so hopefully. Um, so I'm going to export this an opt file. Um, I'm going to overwrite the opt file that uh, I already had when they already imported. And then uh, I'm going to go to switch toolbox. Wait, let me make so you guys can see it here. Go to switch toolbox. Then I'm gonna replace kcl file again um, in order to replace in order to have the option like when you right click the kcl file and switch toolbox in order for you you again you guys i don't think you guys can see these options when you right click and obvious but and um, when you right click on it in order for you to be able to see the export and replace options you need to have this plus icon appear you, uh, so you need to basically double click on kcl to have this plus icon appear, appear. then when you right click on it you'll be able to have the export and replace options so I already exported it and modified it so I'm going to replace it now and uh, yeah I'll replace it with the one I did um, so then a menu pops up and tells you like <coughs> it tells you like uh, it, it's like a material selection menu um, I'm just going to apply it, I'm going to click apply I don't think you guys can see the menu but um, I'm going to click apply and uh, Maybe you'd want changes if you're doing like specific type of collision, like maybe specific combination. But anyways, now I replaced it. I'm going to click save. I'm going to save it, and uh, now uh, we're going. I'm going to test in game. Uh, so see you guys in game in three, two, one. All right, guys, welcome back. And uh, 
So now we, you guys can already see the uh, water explosion working. So as you can see here, when I'm walking here, even though they're not supposed to be water here, Link uh, still gets wet and stuff. So that's because I modified the water collision I made. Uh, um, so yeah, so that's my modified collision. Uh, the one I modified now called two. That's the water collision. But depending on which one you decide to modify, it can make a different effect. Um, so I showed you guys the water collision. Now I want to show you guys. Uh, I'm still going to show you guys the water collision, but. I'm going to raise the water higher now, and then you'll be able to see Link swim in the water, so... Um, basically, all I'm going to do in Blender, I'm just going to... I'm not going to show you guys what I'm going to do, but... It's extremely simple, I'm just going to... Raise the uh, model higher up, and then... Uh, and, and then that will make Link swim in the water instead of running on it. So, 3, 2, 1... Alright guys, welcome back, so... I modified the collision of the watch collision I made higher and now look what's going to happen when you move it. Ooh. So Link is now literally swimming on the water. Um, but where's the iron boots on? Where's them? So Link... Link literally now like... He's uh, basically he's inside the water now. And he's swimming in and... It's, uh, I feel like it's really cool. Uh, this can help them every single girl, like, if I feel the comp system cool levels of these ideas. But yeah, so, all I really did was the same thing that I showed you guys before, but the only real difference was that I moved the collision of uh, Cold 2, which was also collision, I moved it up higher up, and that caused it to swim instead of just trying on it. So yeah, so thank you guys for watching, hopefully this video, uh, if you guys uh, found this video helpful, um, and then please uh, like uh, consider watching some of my other videos and uh, if you want to try out custom map for Pulpinsus custom collision although the all is fairly simple to, to be honest um, you can check out my last video for this one, uh, which is Final Destination in Pulpinsus mod so thank you guys for watching and bye